Gladiators in the first of our quarterfinals. We've just seen our female challengers tackle the pendulum, and now it's our male challengers' turn. Welcome back to the show, Nikki. You're pumped. Thanks, Zoe. Great to be back. Yeah, it's good. Quarterfinals. Couldn't be happier. Now, tell us a little bit about this fundraising trip you've got planned. Well, we're doing a uh, 24-hour kayaking trip down the river, finishing up uh, down the bottom, Lake Alexandrina, where the family property is, uh, doing it to raise money for uh, the Depression rural areas. So. Just been training for that, heaps of kayaking, that type of thing. And have you done any special training for tonight? Uh, not a hell of a lot, no. Just, um, yeah, a bit of kayaking and uh, just general, you know, wakeboarding, skiing, whatever I can do, just fun activities in between. Best of luck. Now let's meet your worthy opponent, Damien. Damien, what's going on in the water down in South Australia? You, Nick and Nicole are all from SA. Well, we must be whatever's washing down from the other states, mate, because we're the last in the line in the Murray, so whatever the other states are putting in there is what we're drinking. You're a tree doctor. Yep. So with the pendulum and the wall, you know stranger to the heights. Yeah, they should suit me well, with all the climbing and the heights and stuff like that, so hopefully we go well, but it's a bit different when you've got someone chasing after you. Yeah, right. Now, you and Nick, you're mates. You're both from SA. You're yep. both doing it for the state. Yep. One of you's got to go at the end of it. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing being up against each other, but that's, that's the, you know, the game. And uh, as one, one guy from SA will get through, so, yeah, we'll see if it's me. All right. Well, the whole state's behind both of you tonight. I know they are. So, kid up. You're the first in the pendulum. All right. Cheers, mate. Good luck. Cheers. Giving chase to Damien this evening is the one and only Owl! The tree doctor Damien has already conquered the pendulum in his heats, but now he's up against Outlaw, and it's the first time we've seen Outlaw on pendulum. And look at him go. There's no holding back. That's incredible speed from both Challenger and Gladiator. Damien thinks about going low, but he's staying in the middle of the pendulum. He's going low now, though, and so is Outlaw. Outlaw comes down. Outlaw's so close. David's breaking away! Outlaw's hanging on! David recovers! He's climbing up the pendulum! Outlaw's trying to grab him again! He's having the second go! Damien has run out of energy! And Outlaw has done it at his first attempt! Oh, some fine finesse there, Damien. Just ran out of time! Yeah, not as lucky that time. I thought I almost had him there when we went down the bottom. Yep. I thought I'd get away from him, but he's a big boy with a big reach. Well, time just, just ticked away. You were so close. Yeah, oh, it felt like I was there 60 seconds, but uh, yeah, just missed out. Never mind. Hang in there. It's a great start anyway. Outlaw, he was fast. Yeah, it's pretty deceptive. It's a really hard game, so you know, anyone that can last that long against the Outlaw, good work. Let's see how they go second time round. It's Nick and Hunter. Nick's first adventure on the pendulum against Hunter the Gladiator, who loves to snare his prey. Nick showed us in his heats, he's strong in the air, particularly in vertigo and hang up. His upper body strength should make a difference on pendulum. He looks across, he's keeping a close eye on Hunter, who's very much at home in the webbing. Nick pauses, constantly calculating his next move. He likes to spot where his pursuer's at before plotting his next step. Look at Hunter move. I wouldn't want him on my tail. Nick's heading down now. That bodybuilding background is coming to the floor of Benjamin. Hunter's got to find him. Suspended animation. I can't believe this. How hard must that be? Has he done enough to secure the points? He has! The fans are appreciating it! Nick's beside himself! Now Nick, you're our first challenger to 
score in the quarterfinals. Congratulations. Thank you, Zoe. Yeah, they're quick, these boys. You've got to be right on it. It's a, one out of all the games that it gets you the most. You, I mean, I could hardly hang on at the end. And I was watching. It's hard to train. Any more seconds, you know, probably would have got me. I had nothing left in it, but I gave it all I got. I got. <laughs> Ten points. Well done. Thanks, uh... Hunter. Nick is uh, one of those hard targets, I like to call him, Zoe. He's been a very good challenger. This is the quarterfinals. He stepped up. Well done, Nick. Wow. Hunter giving a compliment. Damien got caught up on Pendulum, but Nick got away. So Nick is in the lead. Ten points to nil. The queen of warrior women, Amazon, displays her might now on Whiplash. To win at this next game, you need to be as determined as a dog with a bone. The challenger's on one side, gladiator's on the other. If the challenger pulls the gladiator out of the circle, not so hard, or any part of the gladiator's body touches the floor, challenger wins. And first up on Whiplash tonight is Nicole. Against the brutal arm strength of Amazon. In Whiplash, the challenger gets 10 points if they manage to pull the gladiator out of the red circle within 30 seconds. Challenger, are you ready? Gladiator, are you ready? Three, two, one. This is a game of skill, not just brute strength. And already Nicole is trying to drag Amazon out of that circle. She falls back like a rag doll. But look at this. Nicole's dragged Amazon out. That's phenomenal. Nicole's great tactic paying off. She changes direction, drags Amazon across, right to the edge of the circle. Oh, that's all very close to the line. Nicole, this is the first time we've seen Whiplash. Yep. And I know it seems as if you pulled Amazon out of the circle, but we're going to call Bill in okay. for a definite decision. No worries. Okay, Bill, what's going on? Yes, Tom. I had deemed that the challenger had pulled the gladiator out of the circle, but she hit the floor first. So we'll check it on the video. Let's have a look. You can see there, Tom, the challenger is outside the circle. Yep. And here's where she makes the effort, but she hits the ground there prior to the gladiator coming outside the red and touching the ground. No points. No points, unfortunately, Nicole. It was just by a whisker. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was pretty close there. I thought I had her there, but obviously, uh, uh, technicalities of the game. First time we've seen this game, but unfortunately, no points. Yep, well, well done. Stay in the fight. Amazon? If we all played the way she played tonight, the game would have been over in two seconds. So, that's right, we have rules for a reason, and this time Bill Harrigan's worked in my favour. Thank you, Bill. It's different. Hey, see, what goes around comes around. Now we'll see how Natasha's pulling power compares with the might of destiny. Challenger, are you ready? Gladiator. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Natasha tries to build up momentum quickly. Trying to drag Destiny to the edge and then drag her out of that circle. Destiny. Siri gathers her composure and comes in a circle. That's where she wants to keep Natasha. Natasha continues to spin, trying her very best. Changing the direction yet again. Almost getting to the edge. She's so close. So close, but so far. She might have touched the ground first, though. We better check that out. As you can see, Natasha, like Nicole, has just launched here and hit the ground before Destiny went out. Well, Natasha, similar result for you that time to Nicole. That's right. Look, I was sort of thinking, you know, the bigger you are, the harder you fall, but unfortunately, you've got to make them fall first. And I just couldn't. I couldn't get her off the edge. I was close, but... She's a big girl. That's all right. You've got the gauntlet next. Hopefully I'll do okay in the gauntlet, yeah. All Look right, forward good to luck. It. Thank you. No luck for either challenger in Whiplash. Both Nicole and Natasha copped a lashing and failed to score, which means they're still level on zero at the halfway mark. After the break, Thunder and Nick get too close for comfort. Thunder. And which challenger breaks what in the gauntlet? Gladiator! 